Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Sue. And I'm Neil Patel. And today we're going to talk about how you can get more YouTube views. So I'm going to kick it off really quickly. If you are producing, Google Google cares more about, or YouTube cares more about um, the watch time uh, when it comes to um, getting, well, when it comes to ranking your channel. So if you want to get, if you want your videos to rank higher, um, if you want your channel to be seen more as an authority, um, one good hack you can do is you can make a lot of different playlists, right? So, you know, I might have playlists that, uh, you know, where I talk to people about SEO, and then I might have some other ones where I talk about content marketing. And for example, this podcast that we're doing right now, we have a playlist for that too. So when you do playlists, people are going to stay longer, they're going to watch longer, and then, you know, you're going to get, um, you're going to be able to rank your videos higher, and that's how you're going to get more views. The other thing, and this works specifically well in the education niche, it's uh, something as simple as going out there in your videos and telling people, hey, you know, uh, throughout the webinar, I'm going to teach you X, Y, and Z, because then they know what they're going to learn and why they should stick around. I also say, hey, towards the end, I'm going to give a bonus of A, B, and C. So for, for those of you who go through the whole thing, you're going to have access to the notes or a transcription or um, an extra bonus. And the bonus could be like a checklist or whatever it may be that they can end up downloading. You'll share a link to it. But when you do that, what I found is people either A, listen to the whole thing or B, when I look at the analytics, they'll skip around, which is great because it's actually causing more uh, video time views. And I'm finding that the videos are performing better when I can get the engagement up. Another thing that you can do, you can download this tool called TubeBuddy. Really great tool. Um, AppSumo did a, a deal recently where you can get, get lifetime access. But the idea is TubeBuddy is going to allow you to see which tags that you're ranking for with, with a video, right? So the tags are really important because these are basically the keywords people might be searching for. So if Neil does a video on online marketing, he tags it there and it's ranked highly and they do a search, TubeBuddy's going to show you how well you rank for specific tags and you can optimize for it that way. So the tags are really important. That's number one. Number two, make sure you use a tool like TubeBuddy. It's not just great for tagging, but it's great overall. You know, if you're really serious about YouTube, you should just take a look at it. There's a free account that's going to give you a host of other features as well. Have you ever done replies there? Replies, as in when people comment? No, video replies. Like Video replies. No, I've actually never done that before. I've seen it. I've never done it. Yeah, you should try it. It works really well. So a lot of people don't do this. Go find the really popular videos within your niche. Do like re replies, responses to them. You start ranking really high because you can start leveraging traffic from their video. And you'll start seeing way more views to your channel. You'll get more subscribers, etc. But it's simple. Go find the popular videos within your category. Do replies. Make sure your video is better, you're providing more education or thought or humor, or whatever it may be based on the original video. And you'll start seeing more views coming to your, your own YouTube videos and your channel. I was looking at this this one guy. He, he The first channel he started was basically, it, it, it failed. But the second one he started, it's, it's all about him filming uh, kind of the luxury lifestyles in Dubai. So, you know, nice um, nice houses, nice cars, whatever it is exactly. And the thing for him, you know, he talked about his success with YouTube. I was just sitting there eating lunch one day watching one of his videos. And he talked about how he was able to grow his channel to, I think, about a million subscribers or so. Um, and when you have about a million subscribers, I think you make uh, his math back out to about 600K uh, a year. Um, but anyway, I, I, I digress. But the main point is he was consistent with all the videos that he was making every single day. So you can expect him to have one new one every day. And what I will say about uh, marketing school, you know, since I started um, auto publishing marketing school episodes to the Growth Everywhere channel, uh, just so we could test to see how it goes, um, you know, our growth rate has been increasing. So if you do that, people can expect to see um, something new every single day. Well, it's gonna change the trajectory of your channel. So publish consistently, and it doesn't matter if you suck in the beginning, it's just like blogging, you know, you're gonna get better and better over time, um, and you're gonna start to grow a fan base. Yeah, and another simple technique that you can end up doing with YouTube is work on crafting your story. I know this sounds really obvious. Everyone tries to get more views from YouTube by just like doing hacks, like the replies, responding to comments so there's more engagement, doing things at the end, uh, like bonuses, whatever it may be, right? Doing some of the tactics that Eric was talking about as well. And don't get me wrong, they're all great. 
if you look at the videos that do really well, it's because they have some sort of story that people are hooked and engaged to. Storytelling is really powerful. We forget that, right? Gary Vaynerchuk has uh, talked about storytelling a lot, and I even believe he has a book on that. Is that correct, Eric? Yep. So why not focus on just crafting a really good story within your video? It doesn't matter what you're talking about. So for example, I'm creating a video right now on how to grow your sales from your website. And part of my story is I talk about, well, there's three ways you can grow your sales, right? The first is SEO. And then I talk a bit about SEO and how I took a new site and got more traffic. But then I show that, look, I got all these links from all these authoritative sites. I've been doing this for 16 years. What's the chance that you're going to be able to do that? And even if you do, it takes three to six months before you get good or decent SEO traffic. So I'm like, that one takes a bit longer. Then I talk about paid advertising. And then I go into, you know, here's some of my paid advertising stats and look at the fluctuations and look how costs have been going up over time. Paid advertising is great if you have a ton of cash, but if you don't, it doesn't work too well. And then I'm like, the third way you can grow your sales from your website, which is my favorite, is why not get more conversions from your own traffic? Why not optimize your website so that if you have 100 visitors and you're normally getting one sale, why not get two sales out of those 100 visitors? And once your site's optimized for conversions, it then opens up the door for more different channels like SEO, pay-per-click, etc. But can you see how I'm crafting a story? I'm narrating, I'm getting into it with the watcher, visitor, whatever you want to end up calling it. I'm relating to them and I'm walking through each and every single scenario as if I was them. By doing this, it helps hook people in and it causes more people to watch, comment, share, and come back and subscribe to your channel. And last but not least, this one seems very obvious, but I talk about YouTube advertising all the time, so why not add YouTube advertising in here? You know, you're probably thinking, well, does that actually drive engagement? And what I will say is something you can do. So I run an agency, it's a service-based business, and I'm literally retargeting people that are visiting uh, a service page and I'm adding more value to them. So I'm not telling them to buy anything. I'm not pitching them on, on anything, but they are seeing my face and they are seeing my screen as well. And I'm showing them something to do. So I'm adding more value to them. And guess what? You know, these video views, when I'm retargeting people, they're not too expensive. And, you know, people are generally, it's a, it's a four minute video. Um, on average, people are getting to about two minutes or so, which is pretty, I'd say it's actually pretty good. Something to keep in mind, you do, you do want to make sure that, you know, you can um, leverage YouTube advertising if you want to get more views. Because in some cases, if you have a, a video that's really good, for example, Squatty Potty's uh, video with a unicorn pooping, um, it can go, <laughs> quote unquote, viral, right? And they got a 600% return on investment on that one. So it was well worth their money. Anything I miss else? my squatty potty. I travel with. I, I mean, I travel a lot, so I don't. I can't take it with me. But that video was so awesome with the sprinkles. <laughs> I bought myself a squatty potty. <laughs> yeah, and just FYI, they sold twenty million dollars worth of that in twenty fifteen. If you want to check out the interview, it's on Growth Everywhere. Type in Growth Everywhere squatty potty. But with that being said, I think that's it for this episode of Marketing School. If you have more episode ideas for us, let us know, and we will forever be in debt or indebted to you. <laughs> All right, bye. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.